is Nick here from MyGraphing.com and I want to make this quick video to just show you quickly what iTunes 10 has to offer. So basically, like I said in the part 1 and part 2, I think it was actually in part 2 where I mentioned about iTunes 10. But in those videos I did talk a little bit about iTunes, I'm just going to show you some of those things in this video. So down here as you can see, they have the new logo right here. Uh, very simple, sort of just... Uh, updated it to a bit more modern sort of style icon to the boring old silver and well the, like the silver of the disc and what have you so they just updated the icon a little bit as you can see right down here so once you download iTunes 10 you'll be greeted with all the install stuff you install it of course you get the icon now and you can open it up um, basically it's just a lot slicker it's slightly different um, I'll just show you what I mean by slicker like these this volume control up here as you can see that's just that's changed just slightly a little thing that you might notice but it's changed you can see like the buttons here they're just moved to the side just to make more room just little things like that as you can see down here on the side all the color has sort of been taken out and it's just a boring gray I could have would have liked to have seen them keep the color in but still keep it that sort of sleek and elegant design but still includes some colours. So as you can see down here on the side, there's no colour, it's just grey with this sort of bluey, purpley background. So that's that. You can see the iTunes store pretty much looks the same. There's nothing really new here. Okay, so on music you also might notice something different. I really like the the new style of the list. So basically, um when you have, like I said in the video before, if you have an album with five or more songs in it it will list the album art next to it and of course you can rate it and it will rate all of them as you just saw right there so that's really handy I really like that feature and I also like the feature that it lists all the artists down below and you can just scroll through like that it's a lot easier than just going down the list like normal looking for each artist I do find that you can look at the songs and then if you want quickly just look at the artists down here on your artist list or just view all artists as you can see up the top so that's a really nice feature just something simple but I do like that and I think that's a, a lot better than the previous iTunes that we've seen before but the major thing in iTunes 10 was ping and as you can see under iTunes store you do get an extra tab called ping so once you first go on to ping you will have to like make your account and sort out all your privacy settings but once you have you can just go ahead and start following people if we just go to the ping home page or the recent activity as they call it from here, you it's welcome to ping. You can search for your your friends or your artist favorite artists in this hit, and then it will bring them up, and you can obviously follow them. You can invite your friends by email. This is just on the greet thing. You can actually get rid of that if you wanted to, and of course you can. I think add it back in once when you want, or or you can just search down here in the find people tab. So we have artists we recommend you follow and there's some here so say I wanted to follow you too I just click the follow button and I'm now followed as you can see it says followed um, obviously it's quite new so not many artists are on here at the moment but as it grows and it gets bigger more artists are gonna make accounts on ping people we, we, we recommend you follow so just random people they recommend I should follow I'm not gonna follow any of them but then you have your recent activity and this is all the posts so Coldplay have made a post as you can see and you can easily comment just type in whatever you want I could just put cool and then click post comment I'm not going to do it but you get the idea very much like on Facebook so you can see that was posted 21 minutes ago post like you can like the post show more comments and report so as you can see we just go down like my friends or I follow Flawless Fox as you can see started to follow people same with me as you can see and it just goes down now one thing that I've noticed and I'm not sure why you can't do this but you can't make posts like you can see Coldplay have wrote something um, I think at the moment it's just for artists to write posts I'm not sure why that is I think that's a bit of a stupid idea but it is so at the moment you can't make posts which is a bit annoying but there you go so that's like the home page and then we can go over here to the little toolbar and you get your my profile so we can click that and go to my profile if you want you can have a picture mine still be in process so just have to wait for that 
and then it has an about me thing you can fill that in as much as you want i just put the random stuff with the links to twitter and youtube and the website and everything and then i just have my recent activity right here so that's pretty much that on the side you do have the people you're following so there are my people I'm following, you can click seal, very much like on the iTunes store when you have the top songs or anything like that, it's pretty much that same format and then I have people following me over here as well. So also we can edit the profile if I wanted to, click edit profile and you can, this is what you'll be greeted with at the beginning and you can edit your profile to how you want and what have you. So we can click done. and we're back to here also we can look at my reviews I haven't posted any reviews as you can see but if you made reviews you'll be able to see them and when when you do do a new review people that are following you will be able to see that you've done that and see what you've wrote you can click on people and you just have the people I follow in a bit more greater detail to the list on the right and then also the people you, that follow me so I have six followers at the moment. Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure why it says six when there's only five listed, but um, yeah, that's that. Um, we also one more thing. If we just go back, you also have the featured. So this is all the people that Apple or Ping think that you should follow. I'm following most of these now, and like I said, not many people are on here at the moment. But as soon as it gets bigger and better you'll be able to follow more artists it also has an artist page linked to this person so we can click artist page and as you can see it lists all the albums um, so if you like that person you can go ahead and download the albums you can obviously preview them and what have you and get, you also all the songs down here you can listen to them if you want and obviously that's that so you can look at the artist page as well and obviously go to their profile and here we have the profile and about the artist you can read about them as well also see all their top posts so this is pretty much ping guys we can go back to recent activity that's pretty much it for now that's iTunes 10 guys let me know what your thoughts are what your um, any questions you might have on iTunes 10 now guys iTunes 10 is safe for people that are jailbroken I'm jailbroken with jailbreak me and I'm on iTunes 10 so it is safe um, so anyone that wants to update to iTunes 10 can. It's not going to affect any person with a jailbroken device. Now, whether this iTunes 10 um, affects a jailbreak in the future, maybe on 4.1, maybe you need a lower iTunes, we don't know. But if you want to back up your iTunes 9.2.1 or anything lower that you are on before, I recommend you do so just in case you have to downgrade back to another earlier iTunes so that's iTunes 10 guys uh, thanks for watching like I said any questions leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can it's Nick from MigratiPhone.com and I thank you for watching